Hey guys, it's Adam here. So I want to talk a little bit about what to do in a case where the market has done to us what it's done to us this week, which is drop an insane amount. So um, if, if you're writing short calls against your against your leaps or your long calls, um, your long expiry uh, long calls, <clears throat> here here's kind of the scenario that I'm in. And I, I'm looking at it as I'm, I'm kind of scared to write short calls right now simply for the fact that if we get a huge bounce next week, it, and let's say, you know, Roku right now is sitting at, I think, at like 151, 150-ish, somewhere in there. Um, now, my long calls have a strike of 155, my leaps. They're, they're 155 strike. So I can't even write a short call below 155 unless I want to put up a lot of collateral or sell those leaps and buy some deeper in the money leap so that I can write deeper in the money short calls or closer to at the money lower strike anyways so here's the issue with with what I'm going through right now when it comes to writing short calls I'm afraid to write a short call at 155 even though that's out of the money currently because before Roku dropped to to 150 it was at I think it hit 179 the day before you know so that's we're talking about nearly a $30 difference. Well, if that's a short call, if, if that's an option and price goes up 30 bucks, well, that's $3,000, you know, for, to buy that option back. And, you know, that, that's not really a big deal for me. I, I can afford to buy it back. And even if it ran 10 grand, you know, I could sell something else that I'm not writing short calls on, roll that, and then buy back into my my other position that if, if I wanted to get back into it, but that's irrelevant to what I want to talk about today. Today, I want to talk about one method you can use in order to prevent yourself from not having enough money to buy that short call back. Okay. So with Roku, I have two option leaps on it. So what I'll be doing next week is I'll just be writing one short call on it, but I'm going to write that short call at the 155 strike, which is slightly out of the money, but we're just going to call that at the money because it's so close to the 151. -ish. And Roku, I mean, when Roku moves, I mean, one tick can, can be one dollar up or one dollar down. So one dollar or three or four or five bucks with Roku is really not a big deal. It, it, it's not much for that stock to move. So come Monday, I'm kind of expecting to bounce. So it's not like I'm just going to set a limit order for when the market opens to, to sell a short call. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to watch it and I'm kind of expecting a little bit of bounce. So I'll kind of wait and kind of see what happens. And as soon as I see a good opportunity, you know, I'm going to sell a 155 strike short call. And my only reason for doing that is because I think the market could uh, very likely go down lower. Um, so I kind of want to be at, you know, selling short calls um, and have more protection for that downside. So Monday, what I'll do is I'll write one short call at the 155 strike. Now, what I'm going to do since I own two option leaps is I'll, I'll see where that goes, you know, and I'm just going to write it out for uh, that Friday expiry. So it'll just be the trading week before it expires. Now, if Roku drops down lower then hey, I made money. Great. And I'll, I'll, I'll roll it out that Friday or or maybe choose a different strike, um, whatever I decide to do. But what do we do if Roku shoots back up to 170 or 175 or 180? Well, I'm leaving one leap naked. I'm not going to write a short call against that second leap that I own. And what I'll do, if Roku does decide to shoot back up and it leaves that 155 strike short call deep in the money, then I still have that other leap that I can write a short call against. So. I'll write a short call against that leap, which will provide some capital to to buy back the the leap, or I'm to, sorry, to buy back the short call that's now deep in the money. Okay, um, and you know you can slowly inch your your short calls up like that um, just by doing that each week, as long as you leave one open that you can write another short call against to provide you capital. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take any chances with. Um, writing those short calls too high um, for ship premium and then the market drops more and I'm like man I should have wrote one you know closer to at the money or in the money or, or 
whatever, you know, um, further down that strike. So just keep in mind, you know, you, it, as long as long as you have more than one leap that you're riding these short calls against, you can you can keep that other one out there as kind of a safety net, right? One at the money, you know, because in times like this with the market, you know, I think even if we pop back up, I think we're it's just going to be a pop that gets sold and the market's going to drop back down. So I'll be riding one short call with as low a strike as possible, which would be the 155 for me on Roku. And then I'll leave that other option leap open to, to write short calls on later, maybe at the end of the week or whatever I decide to do. So that that will kind of help build back up some capital. And if you're running low on capital like I am, um, you know, you, you don't want to get caught with your pants down and your short call deep in the money to where you have to let it expire. You want to be able to roll it out further so that you don't have to um, sell your, your leaps at that strike price, um, which is way down from where I originally got into Roku. So I'll keep this video short. If you have any questions, just hit me up in Discord and let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks.